Sorry. Should we? And shine on the line. I am Reverend Gail and I am the curate of Bourneville Parish Church. And it is a joy to welcome you to worship with us this morning. We are still in the Easter season, which means that we're still celebrating that Christ is risen. So when I say, Alleluia, Christ is risen, we say together, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. Are you ready? Alleluia. Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Over to you, Damien and Kate. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> May I add my welcome to Reverend Gales. My name is Damien. Uh, I will be leading the service this morning with Kate. Hi, I'm Kate. Welcome. <laughs> Um, if you are new and visiting us this morning, we want to say an extra special welcome to you. We're so glad that you can join us. We hope that Rise and Shine will be a place where you can feel free to celebrate God as a person God has created you to be. Uh, so if you want to jump around and join in like that, then that's brilliant. If you want to sit and just kind of watch from the comfort of your own couch, that's also very fine. Very fine. Um, we have two people in our house who choose to do that. So Tucked away down there. Just that <laughs> point to me shot. Uh, and to emphasise the point that everybody is welcome, we have a song that we like to sing called Everybody's Welcome. We do indeed. And there's a few actions to go with the song, so you can join in at sure, home. Okay. So, we're going to start with a box step. I tend to use my arms just to illustrate the point a bit. It's not compulsory. What's a box step? So, a box step. Start with the right leg, forward and back. Very simple. One step forward, one step back. End with a little jump. And then we're going to do gather, which is one arm up two arms up so we gather in the house and so make a house and then we point to God who is on our right hand side and then we do the box step again and then it's joined together so joined together very similar move as one and we do a number one great excellent let's do that let's start if you're just joining us welcome welcome listen to the song Very welcome. Okay, he's going to lead us on our next bit. 
I am indeed. So we're going to take just a few moments to reflect back on our week and our days um, and to think about any things that we're sorry about and then to receive God's forgiveness. So to start with, we're going to take our hands and put them together just like this. Loving God, sometimes the things we do or don't do hurt you and hurt those you love. We are sorry and we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Now we're going to think about the things that we might have said, so we're going to point to our lips. Loving God, sometimes the things we say or don't say hurt you and hurt those you love. We are sorry and we pray, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Now we take our hands and we point to our heads, which is where our brains and where we start to think is. Loving God, sometimes the things we think or don't think hurt you and hurt those you love. We are sorry and we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And now we're going to squeeze our hands really tight um, until they feel a little bit uncomfortable. And we say together, may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us for the wrong things we have done, and assure us of his eternal love for us in Jesus. And then we'll say amen together, and as we say amen, we're going to let our hands open and let that go and release. Amen. Amen. And because of who God is, and because of all he has done and continues to do, we celebrate him. And we have a song that we're going to do, uh, used to do that now. Today. We, uh, we've not done this song at Rise and Shine on the line before. I haven't done and, it before. Uh, but Al has been leading this song on Wednesdays for Rise and Shine Second Breakfast, which is at 8 o'clock on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. Feel free to tune in for that. Um, nice plug. Thanks. <laughs> so this song is called Brand New Day, and it's got some, uh, some movement some and signs and actions all mashed together. Yeah. So we're going to do a brand new day. So day we do a big... I'll stab it here because we can't do it big enough right next to each other. Okay. Brand, brand new day, day that God has made. I've got to get up and celebrate today because it's a brand new day. Brilliant. And then there's a uh, bit that says the sun is up, another brand new day is born. So we do another box step. So step forward, step back, day is born. Let me do a side step and then another step. Today is a new day that started the right way by being thankful. The sun is up, another brand new day is born. There has never been a... I've been that way. Sorry, smooth. Follow her. Don't follow me, follow <laughs> No, absolutely follow uh, me. Today is a new day. We'll start the right way, thanking God for this new day. And uh, there's a bit with, uh, yeah. We will rock you, kind of clap. Yeah. It's really hard to do with a guitar. Mm. You'll have to figure that one out. We'll work it out. And we might uh, do this a few times in the future, so we'll all get to know what the signs are as we go. Or it might go hideously wrong and we'll never do it again and never speak of it. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's do it. Get up and celebrate today Cause it's a brand new day It's a brand new day that God has made I gotta get up and celebrate today Cause it's a brand new day The sun is up The sun is up and now the brand new day is gone There has never been a day like this
we got away with we it. We got away with it. It was okay. Thanks everyone for joining in. Yes. Now we go to our bit of the service where we tell our story and we have been working our way since September through the big story of God, the whole story of the Bible and uh, we started in creation and God made this perfect world in love and he made us and put us in the, uh, into creation and, and gave us the role of looking after it and we kind of stuffed everything up and turned away from God's plan for us but God loved us so much that he didn't want us to stay in that mess and he created a plan and uh, chose the people to make that plan happen and because we stuffed things up, we stuffed it up again. But then he sent Jesus into the midst of everything to live a perfect life. He was killed on the cross and now we're finding out that he might not be dead anymore. He definitely isn't dead anymore. We've done like four weeks of yeah, him not we, being we dead. Totally He's not dead. He's let's not dead. Uh, let's nice. carry on. And uh, <laughs> yes, so this is a different story to the way we've been telling it the last couple of weeks. There are no thumbs up and hearts and things like that. Um, but it's still interactive and we still want your participation if you can do that. So uh, if you hear certain trigger words, we want you to do a response in your home. So first of all, if you hear the word fisherman, fisherman, fishing, fisher, that sort of thing, then I want you to go heave ho at that because that's like heave. pulling a rope or something. Uh, if you hear the word confused, I want you to go uh, for kind of Laurel and Hardy style. Uh, confused. It's an easy one for me. Fisherman. Heave ho. Great. If you hear the word boat, I want you to go row, row, row your boat. And then stop. You don't have to do the whole song. Um, just stop there. Boat. Row, row, row your boat. Fisherman. Heave ho. Confused. Nice. And then the last word that you need to know is fish. And uh, you need to make a fish face and fish noises. I'm sure, we had some fish around here. We have some fish. Great. These are some we made earlier. Look at that. So realistic. Since they had met Jesus, the fishermen's lives had been changed completely. Come with me, Jesus had said, and I will make you fishers of men. There's a heave ho. Heave-ho! Yeah. Sorry. Fishers of people. Heave-ho! Well, they had gone with him, and, and thing, uh, the things that they'd heard and saw both amazed and confused them. Their lives were given a whole new purpose, but now they were confused again. You see, Jesus had been killed, and everything they thought they had knew had changed again. And now, if things hadn't already started to get confusing enough, Jesus had started to appear to them, alive and well. So confusing. And they didn't really know what to do, uh, but they had been told to go back to Galilee and to wait for Jesus there. So they went there and they were all sitting around wondering what they do next. Well, suddenly Peter leaps to his feet. I'm going fishing! Heave-ho! He announced to the other disciples. And with nothing better to do, the other disciples replied, We're going with you! So the former fishermen Heave ho. dusted off their old boat, oh, row, row, row your boat, got in and put it out on the Lake Galilee, ready to do the thing they used to do, the thing they did before Jesus was a thing, the thing they were really good at, except they caught absolutely nothing that night. Not a single sardine. No fish. Wrong way. All night. When the sun came up at the start of a brand new day, they heard the voice of someone they didn't recognise calling them from the shore. Good morning! The stranger shouted. Did you catch anything for breakfast? No! They shouted in unison. Why don't you throw the net over the right side of the boat row, row, and row, see row. what happens? Well, the fishermen Heave-ho. were confused. Mm. Who did this guy think he is? They were the expert fishermen. Heave-ho. If they could not catch anything, then there weren't any fish to be caught. But then they decided 
to do what he suggested. They threw the nets out to the other side of the boat. The boat. Row, row, <laughs> there row, we go. Boat. Suddenly, <laughs> there were so many fish in the net, they weren't strong enough to pull them in. And then it dawned on John. It's the master, he whispered to Peter. When Peter realised that it was Jesus, he threw on some clothes. Wait, what? What? As in he wasn't wearing any clothes. Interesting. Very confusing. Uh, anyway, he threw on some clothes and dove off the boat row, into the row, sea. Row, row your boat. Well, the other disciples came in by boat, for they weren't very row, far from row, land. Row, row your boat. A few hundred yards or so, pulling along the net full of fish. When they got out of the boat, they saw that Jesus had made row, a row, fire row, and already had breakfast cooking away. Fish and bread. The breakfast of champions. <laughs> Jesus called out to them, bring some of the fish you've just caught. Peter joined the rest of the disciples and together they pulled the net to shore. A hundred and fifty-three big fish. And even with all those fish, Incredibly, the net didn't rip. Unbelievable. Breakfast is ready, Jesus said when they joined him by the fire. Not one of the disciples dared ask, Who are you? They knew it was the master, Jesus. And then Jesus took the bread and gave it to them, just as he had done so many times before. He did the same with the fish. And together they ate breakfast on the beach. It was a brand new day and something new had begun. Well, I hope you enjoyed being part of that story. Thank you for uh, joining in. We always love to respond to our stories in different ways and give you lots of different opportunities uh, to respond to the story. So we have a thing um, on our online, on our page, we have put up the digital service sheet and you'll have all the different kind of responses there. But I'll run through them quickly. I haven't printed it off back to front. So it's back to front today. Um, there's a think thing. So if you want to think or you want to chat with the people in your household, think about what does the story tell us about God? Why do you think Jesus' friends went back to fishing even after everything they'd been through with Jesus? Why do you think Jesus met them at dawn, the start of a new day? How do you think the breakfast with Jesus changed things for his followers? And what new thing might God have planned for you? If you want to write, then uh, write a poem beginning with the line, It's a brand new day and I am... Dot, dot, dot. And think again about how that breakfast changed them. Think about what new thing God might be uh, leading you into, what he might have planned for you. Then if you want to do a move, if you're the kind of person who can't keep still, then this might be for you. We would like you to do as many star jumps as you can. You see, some people start a brand new day with exercise. Um, not here. We, not today. No. Um, no, we barely, we, we didn't make it on time. <laughs> Sorry. You know, it, with everything in the world changing right now, you can always depend on the fact that the Herberts struggle to get to church on time, even when it's in their own nothing, home. Nothing so changes. Nothing changes. Even that is a constant. Home. I mean, God is unchanging. Focus on that more than this. But moving on. So do as many star jumps as you possibly can. Let's um, have a competition in your household. If you want to put up how many star jumps you manage to do yeah. um, in like a minute or something, then we can have an online competition as well. And finally, you can create a paper sunrise. So here is a paper sunrise that I made earlier. Or a mini one. There's a mini one, simpler one. Cute. We're going to make these together. So what you're going to need, if you haven't already got them, you need a few sheets of paper. If you want to make the big one, you're going to need four, five, you need five sheets of paper. And if you want the small one, then you need two sheets of paper. We'll see how you get on. And uh, and you can decide as we go along. So this is our, our create response. What else and again, we're need? thinking about new things. You know, John loved to point out, that's the guy who, who put the story down. He, he liked to point out that everything started at dawn. Everything was um, that Jesus was doing when he was meeting with his disciples was at the start of a brand new day. And he likes to bring that up quite a lot. So we're thinking about new things um, that God was calling the followers to and new things that, 
that he might be leading us into. So, paper. Start with your paper. Do they need to get anything else, Damien? Before? Do they need to get anything else? Glue? Glue. If you've got glue, our glue stick has gone solid. So frustrating. Apparently they need lids. And Who knew? Uh, anything else? It might be helpful to have some reinforcement. We'll see how it goes. And uh, and a pencil if you want to draw. And scissors. Ah, scissors. My scissors have disappeared. I'll get some scissors. Great, we don't need them for a little while. So start with your paper. We are going to concertina this paper. And uh, lots of different ways of doing that. Well, actually, there's only one way of doing it, really. You, you fold the paper lots. But because we're going to do four of them, try and do it all at the same time. And try and make them all even. So we're going to... I like to do fairly kind of thin um, folds and I like them to be very precise. So I do a thing where I fold it in half and then open it up and then fold it in half again. You see what I'm doing? Like so and then you fold, open it up and then fold it again so you're meeting up to the fold that you've just done and then open it up one more time and fold it to the fold. So your fold is about that sort of thickness. Rush about, that one. About a centimetre just over. And then do that folding it forwards and backwards until you get a concertinaed piece of paper. This is commonly known as the accordionization of paper. <laughs> That's not true, I made that up. I'm filling because this is what we're aiming for just very to remember. few things as exciting as because watching someone fold paper. You can see the folds. So I'm doing four sheets of paper at the same time, not just because I'm a show off, but because it saves time. I time myself, I tried to get it under 30 seconds to do a sheet of paper, and I couldn't do it. I only tried once, but it seemed too hard. So I think doing four sheets at the same time is going to work. Is anybody doing this, by the way? Don't know. <laughs> Is it just a... Uh... You can't comment when you're <laughs> concertinaing. It's true. It's a well-known fact that that's impossible. This is roughly what it should look like. So here I have... Sorry, do you want to... Sorry, Sam did 106 star jumps. 106 star jumps, Holy Sam. Well thing, done. amazing. You must need a glass of water now. Who can top that? <laughs> How many did Andy do? Sam did 106. How many did Andy do? That's was that, was Andy question. counting? He was the counter. Andy's turn, I think. You're welcome, Andy. Uh, there's some folding going on. You know, you could also get your household to do a sheet each if you wanted yeah, to do that. Sure. Um, now we're going to make this into one really long piece of paper using our glue. So the way I do this, I have PVA glue. You glue down the end strip like so. Oh, I've got to open the lid. This is going well. Apparently, we might have left the lid over, off overnight in this one as well. No, I'm good. I'm good. You I think I'm good. You don't need a, a brush. Uh, yeah. This is gripping viewing, I'm sure. <laughs> So, there's way too much glue in there, but at least I got it out of the thing. And then we're going to put this concertina, this little, is that, what's an individual fold? This fold on top of the other fold, and stick it down. Like so-ish. Tables are really helpful for this sort of thing. Floors, flat surfaces. Ironing boards, not so much. Carpet, <laughs> just do it straight on the carpet, kids. <laughs> and we're going to do that with all our pieces of paper. Oh. <laughs> with Joe Wick's leg. <laughs> yeah. Might be a bit easier with two of you, just to uh, one hold, one press into the fold. What new things do you think God might be... Uh, there we go. ...have planned for you, Kate? New things for today? Oh, just in general. Oh, that's a good question. Thanks. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Damien? I don't know. I think we've all got new things at the moment. 
New way of life. Light of life is very different. Yeah, but... new way of life. <laughs> and uh, and it's tough. Ooh, oh, why don't Eli? Eli got 102 in there. Everyone's breaking the oh, 100 don't... mark. Amazing. Is Zach still going? I think for us, every day is a bit unpredictable, isn't it? It is. So but everything feels a bit new every day. We're not sure what's going to happen. But there's also lots of new opportunities, I think. But it's challenging. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. I find it tough. But it's also exciting in different ways. Just like watching Mr. Maker. Wow, Aww. what a compliment right there. Mr. Maker. He manages to make stuff. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. Right. So now we have our four pieces of paper together. All stuck. Look at that, it just keeps going. And we're going to make this into a wonderful... <laughs> Reverend Gal did 25. And then gave up. What are we doing with the paper? What are we doing with the paper? Like this paper. Now we're going to... So if you collapse it all into a, a long strip, a, th a thin strip. Joining it together at one end. Squeezing it. As you would an accordion. Again, you might need an ironing board for this. A long piece of paper. If you use PVA like mine, it might not have dried yet. <laughs> you could use a bit of sellotape. What we're, what we're going to do is we're making it into a fan shape. So what you'll need to do is pinch the bottom of it together and then expand it. I can't do this. You can. Come on. So just to show you as we go, lift it up there, is that you pinch one end and you slowly but surely keep the one end pinched and bring them together. Oh, that's much better. You there we go. This. So it looks a little bit like a fan. It looks a lot like a fan. Like so. And then, uh, up in there. Oh, wait, mine's coming it. undone. Like you hold this, this and I'll... Carry on. No problem. So you might need someone to hold that. <laughs> and with your other piece of paper, we're going to cut out two circles. This is going to be your sun. So I'm using yellow paper for this. If you're using white paper, all I did when I used white paper is paint different colours. That might be an activity for this afternoon. I think you rather enjoyed doing that. Um, I looked at colours of, of sunrises on the line and found that they kind of start yellowy and go through an orangey reddy thing and and then end in a kind of purpley bluey bit for the sky. Um, if you have those colours. If not, just have a white one. And so you don't need to pinch it quite like that. What we're going to do with our circles, once you've cut your circle, is this is going to keep it all together as well. So, um, you're going to glue that. Rafe managed 69 jumps. <laughs> <laughs> 69 star jumps, yeah. well done, Rafe. I don't... There's glue everywhere on our ironing board now. It's good, good. <laughs> Might need to invest in a new cover. So, put that down flat. Put your circle, so you don't want your whole circle, you want to fold some of the circle underneath the fan that you've created. This may or may not hold together with PVA to show you. This is just like Blue Peter. Yeah, it definitely doesn't hold together <laughs> with PVA. Thanks, Caris. <laughs> An ironing board is a terrible surface to do this on. <laughs> you can't apply any pressure. I think you've got lots more time later on today to perfect this, everyone. <laughs> and uh, it's good to get a circle on the back as well, just to, to do doubly uh, reinforced. If you're finding this isn't working, you could also put a lolly stick down the middle between the, uh, the final folds and that gives it a little bit more structure as well.
but I appreciate that not everyone will have had lollies for breakfast and have a lolly stick lying around. Not like our household. <laughs> You'll have all had fish and bread, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> How do you get PVA off the duvet cover? Ooh, I don't More know. PVA. That's how you get it off. <laughs> Little known fact, if you want to get PVA off, just put more PVA on. Don't listen to him. A, I think bicarb soda internet. works on everything. I'd pretty much bicarb everything. Washing machines, they're good. <laughs> so ours has completely failed um, because our glue is too gooey um, and I'm trying to rush it. <laughs> <laughs> so if yours looks like that, well done. Well done. <laughs> This you is the followed, one we made earlier. You followed the, the instructions <laughs> perfectly. And uh, perhaps you practice it on an ironing board in the future. Um, or, anyway. or just make sure that the kids put the lid back on there. Where's our glue? Oh, here. I thought perhaps we had glued enough. No, no. there's always, always more, more time. PBA to be had. <laughs> How's everyone getting on? Anybody manage this? You might need to leave it to dry for a while as well. Why, why, don't, uh, why don't you just do some star jumps for us, Kate? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone needs to see that. Going to ground. Come on, talk about yourselves. <laughs> He's taking this very seriously. He's now gone to the floor and using the floor as our table. It's nearly there. Once it's glued, that's the end of it. So. Uh... Yep, so once you've done all your gluing, you can let it set and then you can decorate it, you can colour it. Pop um, it in your window Yes. as a symbol of hope. We're trying to put all our craft in our window so that when people walk by... They, they know how see. crafty we are. Jo says this is not an easy craft, eh? Not an easy craft? Not an easy craft, you're right. If it wasn't an easy craft, I would not have been able to sort of do it. <laughs> uh, there we go, you just needed to get down on the ground. And uh, and just hold it together with your fingers and pretend that you've made it. Okay, I'm going to leave anybody um, who's still doing it to keep doing it, and uh, and we're going to move on to a song. a song. Thankfully, this. I'll take that from you. Ooh. You just broke it. Uh. <laughs> I should have said. <laughs> I meant to say how you could make the easy one. <laughs> so, uh, just one principle. piece of paper and fold it over, and that's much easier. And I should have showed you that one um, instead, and I'm well really done, sorry. Spices for but uh, it. if you want to give the Spicer family a call later, they will talk you through it. <laughs> if you're still with us after that, then let us sing well together. Done. This is a song we did uh, this song last week. It's called I Believe. And. Uh, yeah, we did it last week. I think it fits this week as well. So we're going to do it again, and it's good to have a bit of continuity. It is. So it says, I believe, so this sign, um, I believe, is a very important sign for this song because it comes up loads and it's the name of the song. So I believe in you, Jesus. I believe you came from heaven to earth. I believe you showed us who God is and how to live. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe you died and rose again and I believe you've opened up the way to God in heaven. I believe your spirit, spirit's here with me, <laughs> giving me the power to change the world and uh, we'll pick up the rest as we go along. You remember it right? I, I'll try. Yeah. And uh, hopefully this one. <laughs> I'm giving everything I've got for you For the 
things I believe in. I'm living my life with you, Jesus. Where will you be? This I'm gonna know you. I'm giving it everything I've got to do for the things I believe in. That's the whole song when you get back to this song. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe you came from heaven to earth. I believe you showed us who God is and how to live. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe you died and rose again. I believe you've opened up the way to God in heaven. And I believe your spirit's here with me, giving me the power to change the world. I'm gonna follow you. I'm giving it everything I've got for you. For the things I believe in, I'm living my life for you, Jesus. Wherever you need us, I'm gonna follow you. I'm giving it everything I've got for you. For the things I believe in, I'm living my life for you, Jesus. Wherever you need us, I'm gonna follow you. I'm giving it everything I've got for you. For the things I believe in. I'm living my life with you, Jesus. I'm living my life with you, Jesus. I'm living my life with you, Jesus. For the things I believe in. Never fast enough, sorry. Um, I'm going to hand over to Kate, who's going to lead us in some chatting with God. Yeah, we're going to have um, a chat with God now. So there's so many ways that we can pray to God and God loves it when we talk to him and perhaps the easiest way of praying is to chat with God like you would a friend or a family member and he's always listening so just try telling God some of the things that we're thinking about today that could be really serious big things God is big and he's strong and he can deal with all the serious things we want to talk about but he also likes to hear about the less serious things as, um, as God can do a lot of fun too with us. So if it helps, you can think these prayers in your head, but if you can't and you'd like to say them out loud, you can pop your hands together here and we can talk into our hands and you can, you can respond to these prayers. So try telling God what time you woke up this morning. Tell God one new thing you have loved doing since lockdown. Tell God someone you are worried about at the moment. Tell God one new thing you would like God to make happen. Tell God something you really love to do. Tell God something you want to celebrate today. Tell God about someone who has done something kind for you this week. And last but not least, tell God your favourite thing you like to eat for breakfast. Amen. And let's say the prayer that Jesus has taught us to pull all of those prayers together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Kate. Uh, we are going to continue our worship with some notices. Uh, so first of all, we already mentioned it, Rise and Shine, second breakfast, 8 o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, it's kind of like a morning prayer, just a... Um, way of praying together first thing on a Wednesday morning to start the day and you're more than welcome to join us then. Uh, today at 11 o'clock we have a Bourneville Parish Church coffee gathering. Um, if you'd like to be part of that uh, then it's on Zoom. If you don't know the details then direct message Bourneville Parish Church Facebook page and you'll be able to get the details there. And secondly, no, finally, finally, finally we uh, we want to start something like that for Rise and Shine as well, and uh, and so we're going to next week try straight after the service doing a Zoom uh, gathering just for um, just for a maximum of half an hour just to see some faces for our families to to see one another and to to just uh, yeah connect in some way. If you'd like to be part of that, then direct message us here at Rise and Shine Bourneville, and um, we will give you the details on how you can join in with that. So next week after Rise and Shine, straight after Rise and Shine on the line at nine. Um, yeah. Rise and Shine on the line at nine. I think that's all of our notices. So we're going to sing one final song and have a prayer at the end. So let's sing. This is a song we did a couple of weeks back. Yep. Again, a newish song. And uh, this is called Send Us Out. Do you want to do the actions, show the actions? Uh, yeah, you start. Okay. Send us out. So this send one is the one that, yeah, send us out in the power of your spirit to shine a light. So kind of just shine a light in the way we live. Send us out in the power of your spirit as we've received. So receive, may we freely give. And then send us out. Send us out. Send us out. For your, so uh, glory. I love Love this sign. Mm. Kind of start out the side. Glory. It's lovely. Let, it's a beautiful sign. Send us out for your glory. Let all we do all. be praise to you. Send us out for your glory. And then there's uh, send us out in the power of your power of your spirit to show your love everywhere we go. And uh, Lord, fill us up so we overflow. We'll get there. We'll get there.
send us out, send us out for your glory. Let all we do be praise to you. Send us out for your glory. Send us out for your glory. Send us out for your glory. Amen. Amen. We have one final prayer that we say together, and it goes like this May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you might overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's great to be able to gather with you and uh, to celebrate God together. Uh, if you are struggling at the moment, please do let us know. Um, we would, would love to help if there's any way that we can help. Yeah, please um, get in touch. Yeah, you can direct message us here. Direct message, Bourneville Parish Church. We don't want anybody to be struggling alone. So, um, yeah, let us know. Or dob someone else in if you think someone else is not, not coping. Dob them in. <laughs> we'll get them. Um, yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank Have you. a great Sunday. Have a great week. And uh, message us for details of gatherings, um, coffee, social gathering things, and we will get you in. Great. We miss you all. We're sending lots of love. Yeah. So love. Lots of love. We're going now. Bye. 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 Mr. Burns.